this time I will call the July 21st, 2021 meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals to order. And may we have a roll call, please? Yes. Uh, Ms. McLaughlin? Here. Mr. Roosh? Here. Mr. Warmbrun? Here. And Mr. Walsh? Here. We have a quorum. <clears throat> are there any changes to the agenda? There are none. At this time, then, um, it will entertain uh, approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. And we all had opportunity to review the minutes from the June 16, 2020 meeting. 2021, I'm sorry. And if we, if we have, do we have any motion in regards to those minutes? Is there a second to that? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Let me have a roll, roll call, please. Mr. Warmbrun? Uh, yes. Mr. Roosh? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Those minutes are approved. Do we have any communications? Yes, we received seven letters of support for the major variance at 907 East Washington Street um, after the packet was sent out to you all. Okay. All were in support of the major variance. Do we have any continued public hearings? No. At this time, then, I will call uh, for hearing ZBA 2021 Major 05, a request by Andrew Fell Architecture and Design on behalf of John Paul and Linda, Linda Buzzard for a major variance to allow porch awning and concrete approach to encroach into the required 15 foot front yard at 604 South Cedar in the R2 single family residential zoning district. Do we have a staff report, please? I'll give a quick introduction while Lena gets set up. Uh, Lena Walker will be doing the presentation for tonight's uh, major variance. Um, she is an intern in the planning division and uh, she's been working mostly on the comp plan and this is her first uh, major variance case. Um, and she will get started right now. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Um, good evening, my name is Lena Walker. Uh, this is a, this case is a request by Andrew Fell on behalf of John and Linda Bazard for a major variance to allow a porch um, to encroach 12 feet, two and a half inches into the required front yard at 604 South Cedar Street. Staff did receive one letter of public input in favor of the variance and staff finds that the case meets the variance criteria uh, and recommends that the Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, that they approve the request with the condition that the construction be in general conformance with the site plan provided with the application. So here we have the location map. The property is on the east side of Cedar Street in between California Avenue and Oregon Street and across from the Leal Elementary School. The house was built in the 1920s and the applicant purchased the property in 1982. The existing house and concrete steps encroach into the required front yard currently. Um, current steps end about five feet, eight inches from the west property line. And there are an additional two steps that are part of the concrete walkway leading from the stairs to the sidewalk. The requested variance would allow the applicant to widen the landing in front of the door and replace that concrete approach with a wooden staircase. 
They would also replace the current metal awning over the windows with one that is slightly wider and extends south to cover the front entrance door. So here, same map with the zoning in place. The property in question is zoned R2 single family residential and the adjacent properties are also zoned R2. The CRE zoning across the street is Leal Elementary School. So this is a, a map of the existing site plan. Um, the front of the house on this lot currently, it, it encroaches about two feet, eight and a half inches into the required 15 foot front yard. Um, the awning extends about two feet, six inches from the edge of the house and the existing stairs uh, encroach into the required front yard already by approximately five and a half feet. So this is a visual of the proposed site plan. So the zoning ordinance requires a front yard depth of 15 feet or the average front yard depth on the block, whichever is greater up to a maximum of 25 feet. The average front yard depth on this block is approximately 10 feet, so the 15 foot frontage is required. The current steps would be replaced again by a wooden staircase that encroaches a total of 12 feet, two and a half inches into that front yard. The walkway would also be replaced to remove the two steps and make it flush with the sidewalk at the property line. The rest of the yard would remain unchanged. Um, this is a special circumstance and supports a variance at this location. This is another visual um, of the proposed changes. It's a little easier to see from the side there. So you can see the changes from the current concrete approach with a railing to the replaced uh, wooden staircase and change to the concrete walkway in front of it. So to summarize, staff has found that the application meets the requirements for the requested variance. Um, when the current owners purchased this property, the structure was already legally non-conforming, having been built prior to the creation of the setback rules in the zoning ordinance for Urbana. The variance would allow the front awning and steps to be replaced with a more functional design that extends further out into the required front yard. However, the variance would only slightly increase the existing encroachment and would not alter the essential character of the neighborhood or cause any nuisance to adjacent property owners. Um, the Zoning Board of Appeals has the following options on the requested major variance. One, forward the case to City Council with a recommendation of approval. Forward the case to City Council with a recommendation to approve the variance with certain terms and conditions or deny the variance request. Staff recommends that the Zoning Board of Appeals forward the case to City Council with a recommendation of approval with the condition that construction of the new porch be in general conformance with the site plans provided in the application and shown here on these slides. The applicant is present to make a statement and answer any questions and I can answer any questions for staff. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff? Hearing none, <clears throat> does the applicant or a representative wish to be heard? Yeah, yeah, I should have done that, but not that many people, I guess. I'm gonna have to swear you in first, okay. I'm sorry. That's fine. Do you swear that any testimony you give tonight will be true and accurate to the best of your belief? I do. Thank you. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, my name is Stephanie Henry, and I'm the project designer uh, for this particular project at Andrew Feller Architecture and Design. And I wanted to uh, thank you for your wonderful presentation. Um, we feel that this um, is as we've designed it. Um, I'm just here to answer any questions if there are any. Are there any, are there any questions for the applicant? Hearing none, thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard in favor of this application? No, hold on. In favor, yes, come forward. I have to swear you in as well. I didn't swear in at the proper time. 
Do you swear that any testimony you give tonight will be true and accurate to the best of your belief? I do. Thank you. Uh, I'm Rob McCauley. I've uh, lived in Urbana since the 70s, including attending your school. And I did not know that these people would be here today. But two weeks ago, my partner and I were walking past their house, and we specifically said that we loved what they were doing with the little hockey and the little ball. Rob, can you turn your microphone on? Can you turn the mic on? Just click the, there you go. Oh, there it is. Kat, I'm Rob McCauley. I've lived, I went to Leal School, and I love what these people have done with their house, specifically the coffee nook on the north side, and of course the classic car. We love it. And I know nothing about the variants. I just trust when people do great things with a house that they will continue to do great things with a house. So I, I'm in favor. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to be heard in favor of the applicant's uh, petition? Is there anyone who wishes to uh, speak in opposition to the applicant's petition? Hearing none, are there any further questions from any member of the board to staff or the applicant? Hearing none, then I believe we're ready to call for the question. Uh, can I make a motion? Move it. Okay, that's all right. I'll uh, move that the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals uh, forward to ZBA-2021-major-05 uh, dash dash major dash <clears throat> to the City Council with a recommendation of approval with the uh, condition one that the construction be in general conformance with the attached site plan in Exhibit D. It's been so moved that we have a second to that motion. I second. Is there any further discussion by the board? And I believe we're ready to call for a vote. Mr. Roosh? Yes. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Warmbrun? Yes. And Mr. Walsh? Yes. That motion carries by the necessary vote to um, meet the requirement to be forwarded on to the uh, City Council at their meeting of, Cat August 16th. August 16th, 2021. Thank you. <clears throat> at this time, we will call for hearing ZBA 2021-major-06, a request by David Huber for a major variance to allow a porch to encroach 10 feet, 10 inches, into the required 25-foot front yard at 907 East Washington Street in the R3 single and two-family residential zoning district. Do we have a staff report? Yes. I'll pull up my um, presentation right now. I'm gonna get started without the PowerPoint and then if you guys need visual, why don't you just let me know. Um, this is a request by David Huber for a major variance to allow a porch to encroach 10 feet, 10 inches into the required front yard at 907 East Washington Street. Uh, staff received seven letters of public input, uh, all in favor of the major variance and one of which was received before the packet was released. Uh, so there are eight in total. Staff finds that the case meets the variance criteria and recommends that the Zoning Board of Appeals uh, recommend approval of the request. 
The property is on the south side of Washington Street, west of Philo Road. Uh, the applicant purchased the property earlier this year. The house and existing front porch encroach into the required front yard. Um, the porch encroaches 10 feet, 10 inches into the required yard and is 14 feet, two inches from the front property line. The requested variance would allow the applicant to widen the porch to the east and west edges of the house while keeping the same encroachment. The property is zoned R3, single and two family residential and the adjacent properties are also zoned R3. The applicant requests the variance to add out more outdoor living space on the front porch. He would like to widen the front porch awning and steps to be 11 feet wide. The zoning ordinance requires a front yard depth of 15 feet or the average front yard depth on the block, whichever is greater, up to a maximum of 25 feet. The average front yard depth on this block is approximately 26 feet. Um, so the maximum 25 foot front yard is required here. However, the average front yard depth on this block is skewed by a 75 foot front yard at 905 East Washington Street. If that property were removed from the calculation, the average front yard depth would only be 16 feet. Uh, no variance would be required if that were the case because the steps can encroach up to five feet into a required front yard. Uh, and if the building were, was constructed, if the building was constructed prior to 1950 and this house was built in 1947. Uh, of the six properties on the block, four front porches or stairs encroach into the required 25 foot front yard. Uh, this is a special circumstance and supports the variance at the location. To summarize, staff found that the application meets the requirements of the, for the requested variance. Uh, the porch has been on the property since 1947 in the required front yard. The applicant would like to widen the front porch and maintain the existing encroachment. Uh, the variance would not alter the essential character of the neighborhood or cause a, nuis a nuisance to adjacent property owners. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals has the following options on the requested major variance. For the case to City Council with a recommendation of approval. For the case to City Council with a recommendation to approve the variances with certain terms and conditions or deny the variance request. Staff recommends that the Zoning Board of Appeals forward the case to City Council with a recommendation of approval and the applicant is here to make a statement and answer any questions. I can also answer any questions for staff. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff? Hearing none, thank you, Kat. <clears throat> is the applicant or representative of the applicant present and wish to be heard? I have to swear you in. You swear that any testimony you give tonight will be true and accurate to the best of your belief. Thank you. I guess the only thing I'll say is the work I do. Uh, you want to introduce yourself? Oh, my name is David Huber. I Thank am you. a uh, resident of East Washington Street. I own four houses on the street, all of which I have renovated or in, in the process of renovating. I also live on that street. Um, in that area, these houses are between um, Wabash and uh, Grove. <clears throat> um, I guess just generally, I would say that uh, the work I do comes from a place of optimism, and I encourage you as a committee to have optimism as well. And uh, not all change is bad change. <laughs> Thank you. Are, are there any questions for the applicant? No. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, um, does anyone wish to be heard in favor of the applicant? Okay. Am I still sworn in? Yes, you're still bound by your your oath uh, a few of us in the neighborhood though for the record though introduce yourself again ah chairman welch i am rob mccauley Thank again you. in favor of whatever david huber is doing in east urbana i approached david as he worked on the first house that he was working on because it had become a talking point to people in the neighborhood uh, the work that he's done is stunning. 
and um, since I've met him, we've had a few conversations about city issues. Uh, first of all, I, I'd like to actually open by thanking all of you for doing this because it's it's so much more important than the public attention that it gets. And if you don't believe that's a sincere comment, I refer you to my 2008 article in Smile Politely, Zoning Issues Are Actually Very Sexy. Um, I, I wouldn't say give David Huber anything that he wants because I don't know what plans he has in mind. I don't know him actually very well, but I've talked to him a few times about what he's doing. And so far, it's not just a credit to the neighborhood. It's amazing, the transformation. It's, it's an actual talking point among neighbors. So I would say, if he thinks it's a good idea, I think it's a good idea too, probably. And that's all I have. Do you have any questions for me? Thank you. Though your sentiments do appear to be shared widely, you said we received a number of communications to that effect. Thank you very much. Is anyone else who wishes to be heard in favor of the applicant? Anyone who wishes to be heard in opposition to the request? No. <clears throat> then I believe we're ready for a motion. I'd like to move that we um, send case ZBA 2021 Major 06 to City Council with the recommendation for approval with the um, condition that the work be done generally conforming to the plan provided in the application. It's been moved. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Is there any further discussion needed by the board? Hearing none, we were ready for a vote. Ms. McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. Roosh? Yes. Mr. Warmbrown? Yes. And Mr. Welch? Yes. That motion, excuse me, that motion carries by the necessary um, amount to forward it on to the city council at their meeting of that one will also go on the 16th of August 16th 2021 thank you sir <clears throat> do we have any do we have any old business no old business business any new business no any audience participation <coughs> excuse me is there a staff report? There is no staff report. Study session? No study session. However, you would like for the board to go into closed session, correct? Yes, and that should be on the agenda. Um, right. We will have to have a motion, a second, and a vote, a, uh, just a verbal vote to go into closed session for um, the public safety presentation. And that would entail any members of the public Leaving, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank um, you, David. To um, effectuate our getting into closed session, we need a motion. I move that we uh, go to closed session. Is there a second to that motion? Second. And uh, we would call that for a vote, please. Yeah, it's just a verbal vote. Uh, oh. So we don't have. I think to. we can do the same. All those in favor, say aye. Okay. All in favor of the motion to go into closed session, indicate by saying aye. 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 